today's video we are going to be talking about one of the most powerful tools within DaVinci Resolve 17 and that's going to be Magic Mask. So let's get started. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 in the edit page. Today we're going to talk about a really amazing tool, one of the most powerful tools in DaVinci Resolve 17. This tool is called Magic Mask. It's only available in studio version, not in free version. So I will just introduce to you and you will see if you would like to upgrade your free version DaVinci Resolve 17 to studio version. So let's start it. So I will just uh, copy this clip to layer 3. I will show you later on why. So I will mark this one and let's jump to a color page. In color page, you can see the uh, ribbon here that uh, are uh, different ic icons with, with different tools. So what we are looking is magic mask. Ma press the magic mask uh, icon and you can see that everything, all the controls are here. So what, what's basically uh, magic mask, mask is doing? This is uh, other name for that is rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is basically extracting or cutting out the person or item from the background. So Magic Mask is an amazing tool that is doing this really, really fast. You will see. So I will introduce only first uh, this control. So you can uh, track the person, the whole person, or you can just uh, track the features. Features like uh, arms, face, hair, hat, legs, shoes, or a torso. So you can uh, decide it which uh, part of the body you would like to track. So here you have all the controls for tracking uh, uh, backwards or forwards and step by step. So here you have also the selection of tools that you can use, uh, invert, mask, and... Uh, so you can just have the, the tracking uh, field here or also the other tools, referment tools that uh, you can decide it on quality. So if you li would like to have faster or better results. So uh, if you would like that, uh, that uh, uh, mask is uh, uh, shrinking or growing or opening or closing. So uh, the blur radius that determine what uh, blur would be, be, uh, with, uh, be done with, with uh, your subject uh, towards the background. So let's try uh, to use this uh, uh, tool and uh, you will be amazed that this is in real time so I will just do a small line and you will see the neuro engine is doing really incredible uh, thing or incredible with incredible speed. So this is the mask. So it's so fast that uh, I can't comprehend that it's really possible that mask is done so fast. So first of all, the... Uh, this magic mask is meant to be to, for editing and color grading. So let's see why. Just remove this red uh, mask uh, overlay and go directly to uh, color wheels. And you can basically change uh, everything uh, on the subject. So whatever you would like to change it. So uh, gain, gamma, lift, uh, offset, uh, color boost, I don't know, whatever you decide that you would like to change on the subject, you, you can change it here. And it's only applying to, to the subject or the person that is uh, cut it out from the background. So if you want to apply some uh, changes to background, just go to this button here and press it on it. And now the subject is cut out of the background and the background is the, 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 the uh, picture that you will 
change it now. So you can play with the with a light, so low or high light. So you can change it the color as well. So if you want to to change it, you can also change the the blur of the background or, or foreground or let's say the the uh, uh, the person that is on the on the clip. So we can basically increase the the background blur so we can see it like before and after so this was before this is after so amazing tool with amazing effects so let's reset everything and uh, I can show you basically again uh, very fast so what we have to do small line and after that so we have mask so we go better, we go radius 1, we go blur with around 35 to 50 and uh, I think this will do and just press the button play and uh, the engine will track your subject, that's the first thing and uh, after that I will show you what we can do further with that. So let's say that we change color grade or edit our uh, subject uh, on the video but uh, we're gonna do something else. So right click add alpha output and put and connect those two dots here. Why? You will see. Let's go back to edit page. So I show you here that I copy this clip on the layer 3. So what we're going to do now, it's uh, very simple. So we're going to go to effect library. We're going to grab text. So, and we're going to put it in the between. So you can see here already that the text is behind the, the person, that it's amazing and fast. Otherwise, you, we have to, to use uh, uh, a tracking tools that we have and it will take probably a longer time than now. So just to, to uh, present you this, we can go with the uh, settings a little bit different. So we're gonna uh, do this text a bit bigger and uh, basically that's it. The text is behind the person and with uh, such a uh, small amount of effort, it's really amazing tool. So next thing that I will show you, uh, let's go back to color page and uh, let's see the features that I would like to show you as well. So here we can go to directly and take her face for instance and choose the eyedropper tool again and just put a small line onto her face and you can see the her face is basically directly uh, we'll put it better as well uh, directly mask put it on her face so we're gonna change a little bit a little things uh, not so drastically that uh, Let's, let's, let's play a little bit. So what we can do here, yeah, yeah, only with those. And a uh, bit of saturation. And you can see that uh, it's amazingly good. We will track it now. So the mask will stay. And you can see that everything, basically, it's not moving at all. The changes that, that we made, they are really like glued on the face of the subject. And uh, the next thing I will show you uh, that we can basically change things. So we will scrub it left and right to see that the mask is still there. It's still there. We can show it with the red overlay. So the mask stays on the subject face amazing 
So let's reset this one and let's go to features like, uh, let's say that we would like to change the color of her clothes. Uh, it can be done easily. So let's choose clothing top and use the same tool, eyedropper tool, and just do the small line here. I would just want to uh, say to you that be careful when you put the line because sometimes if you put it like here the hands will cut the 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 pad of the of the uh, tracker and the result will not be good so let's put it like like somewhere here and the mask is already on it so as i say it's a really fast really amazing so we can track it till the end and we can also put it like track back so you can see that the, the this tool is really fast uh, you can do a lot of changes so let's play a little bit with the colors so it's orange oh it's a bit green uh, it's a bit blue and uh, <laughs> we we really it's such, such an amazing tool that I'm impressed really crazy so this is it for today so if you have any questions uh, regarding this tool uh, please let me know uh, leave it your comments down below and uh, thank you for today see you next time guys if you like this video please share subscribe comment and hit that like button if you found this tutorial useful then let me know in the comments below catch you all next time see ya